Ford Focus ST. 90 foot-pounds of torque upgrade kit. Okay. Here's the Ford Performance part number here. M14204 FSTA. This is a vehicle interface for a laptop, which you'll need. You'll need a laptop. Paper. Paper. Sticker. Sticker. You put this inside the fuel door so you don't forget to uh, put premium in this thing. What do we have here? Oh, some Denso uranium spark plugs. These are two steps colder than factory, so they, uh, they included these and they want you to put them in. Two steps colder because it's going to be increasing the boost. Anyway, let's get started here. I'm going to start with putting these uh, spark plugs in. There's a spark plug all undressed and naked. Do you want to make sure the gap is about 28 thousandths? There's a 28 thousandths feeler gauge in there. There they are. Let's get these spark plugs changed out. Okay. Unbolt all four coils. Don't side load this bolt here. I'm going to take this whole pipe off here. What you want to do is loosen the 7mm clamp right here. Come down, take this uh, bolt off right here. Come down here, disconnect your uh, inlet air temp sensor. Pull up on this uh, stupid rubber thing here. Okay. Straight up. Unplug all four coils. Push down, pull back, twist, and pull. Inspect for oil and inspect for debris in there before you pull the spark plugs out. If you have oil down in there, replace the valve cover gasket. I've got a regular sized ratchet, an extension, and a 5 8 magnetic spark plug socket. That just sounds fancy. I'm going to look up the torque spec on the spark plugs and put it on the screen here. Uh, remove all four spark plugs in this manner. Out with the old. And in with the new. Okay. Careful, make sure you thread these down all the way by hand before you torque them with a ratchet. And don't uh, side load them like this. Just go straight down. Torque to spec. <clears throat> Repeat three more times. <clears throat> Alright, there's number four. They're all in. I'm going to install just a touch of silicone dielectric into these boots here. <clears throat> there we go, just a touch on the top there. They're in. Let's get the intake tube back on here. Three, two, one, and done. Let's get to that fancy computer portion in here. Insert cable A into receiver B. Insert receiver B into receiver A. Okay. Insert this end into the laptop. Connect laptop to external power device. Lift up laptop screen. Okay. Step one, go to our ProCal registration website at performanceparts.4.com slash register. They're going to prompt you to enter your voucher ID. Please type in the following. It's covered up. You're going to have a unique ID that you put in before you download the software onto the computer. All right, on this website here, once I've uh, given them all my personal information, like a ridiculous amount of personal information, I'm going to go down here to ProCal registration. Type in your voucher ID off that yellow piece of paper. Should be a group of four four-digit numbers. Once you've inserted the voucher information there, you can go ahead and click ProCal 3 software download. Next, I'm going to go hey in and install ProCal 3. Now it's going to install the USB driver for that thingy for the uh, DLC. Now 
There it goes. Oh, I hate laptops. There we go. We've got the key on. I'm going to click on the download tab. All right, it's downloading the calibration. Just have me put in that voucher ID and my login again on that da download tab. From here, I clicked program, and now it's programming. Invalid response. Unable to program PCM. Okay. Okay, I just clicked program again, and it seems like it's doing something this time. It's at 5% complete. 42%. 69%. 99%. And 100%. All right, boys, apparently that was the download portion. Now it's actually programming the PCM using what it downloaded. 100%. It's alive. It had me cycle the key off and then back on. Now it's doing some more stuff. Successfully programmed. Okay. All right, I guess we're done here. This should go without saying, but make sure that your gas tank is full of 93. Whoa! Let's see if she starts up, boys. Now it's time to go for a drive to see if she's got 90 foot-pounds more of torque. Nine zero, that's right. That would be pretty wild. <laughs> Let's do it. Whoa, did it just backfire at me? <laughs> See what she's made of now. She's got a little more kick now. Yeah, she's got a decent bit more kick. Definitely noticeable. But she sounds a little more mean. Let me let me uh, see if I can show you. Alright boys, yeah, she bad. <laughs> I don't know if it added 90 uh, foot-pounds of torque, but uh, I'd say 45 or 50. I am still running the factory style intercooler that, you know, that $59 intercooler off of eBay, so that might be holding me back a bit. But I do have that aftermarket air box on there with the high flow filter. We have a catted uh, factory style down pipe on it and a performance cat back exhaust, so... Maybe the next thing I need to do is put an intercooler on it to get an extra 30 horsepower. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm kind of new to upgrades and all that on the ST, so have yourselves a great day. Thanks for watching.